Hello everyone, the Nerdy Steve here, and today... Hello everyone, the Nerdy Steve here, and today I'll be featuring a Mirror Scholar of Antiquity deck in Standard. The list is in the description below. I'm going to talk a little bit about the plan of the deck, and then we'll play a couple of games. So, let's go. First, I want to preface this entire thing with... I don't know if this deck is going to be any good. I don't know if it is good. And, yeah, but it is interesting and fun, and I've been playing around with it. I was asking around for what type of decks I should play in Standard post-ban, and a very lovely and amazing person brought up a Mirror Scholar of Antiquity deck. And so I did some Googling, and I found one list, and then I changed a lot of the cards, but here's the basic premise of the deck. First... We have Mirror Scholar of Antiquity, which is a 3-mana 3-3. And you can tap an untapped non-token artifact you control to add one green mana to your mana pool. Then you can tap two untapped non-token artifacts you control to exile the top card of your library. And you may play that card that turn. So with Mirror out, we can create a lot of mana and play a lot of cards and do a lot of things. Now, what do we do with all that mana in that? those cards. I don't really know. How I think we want to try and win here is with Dragon Spark Reactor. We can, with all the artifacts that are entering the battlefield from the top of our library, with treasures being created by bootlegger stash, we're getting a lot of artifacts enter the battlefield, and you can get 20 damage with a Dragon Spark Reactor kind of fairly easily. I was very, very surprised in a lot of my practice runs how I was able to do that. And then we also have Patrick Automaton, which can, you know, get really, really big really, really quickly when you cast all these artifacts. And I also have Walking Bulwark, which, you know, is only a 1 mana 0 3, but it can get in some damage early on when your opponent doesn't have blockers and stuff. To, you know, do something. So, ideally what we do with this deck is, quite frankly, pray. But we reality, we want to reality chip on, you know, one of our creatures. And then with Myria Scholar of Antiquity out, we can play a lot of cards during our turn. And get a lot of triggers and do a lot of things. And then... Hopefully, we can string together something with Dragon Spark Reactor, where we can then kill our opponent. Sounds simple, maybe. Sounds complicated, yes. But fun, definitely. Now, let's go play some games and see if it can work again. Also, if you haven't already, you should totally like, comment, and subscribe. That's a great way to help support me and this channel. If you have any deck suggestions, please let me know. I am always looking for more things to play. And I have a Twitch if you want to watch me play live Magic. And I have a Metafy if you're interested in coaching. Those links are down below. Now, thank you for watching, and let's play some games. Okay, I think this is okay. I think. We don't... We don't have green mana, but we do have the Synthesizer and Wedding Invitation, which will hopefully, you know, get us to a place where we can draw some green mana and Myria's, Myria Scholar of Antiquity can do some cool stuff. But let's hope. I'm not holding my breath yet. We also have a Tamio in our hand, and Tamio... It's something I've recently added to this deck, and I think it she allows us to get more copies of Myria Scholar of Antiquity and the Reality Chip. And I think that's kind of like our deck really needs those cards to function and flow very, very well. And also... The plus one ability isn't to, isn't, you know, to be neglected, right? It's a very, very relevant thing to, you know, tap down a creature and allow, and it can give us a couple of turns to get the ball rolling and amount this mass card advantage engine that we really need. 
Hopefully, theoretically. Okay, so let's... One, two. So I'm exiling the top card of our library so we get to see what it is. And it is a artifact. I'm playing a land so we can't get spell pierced very easily. We still can, but... And if we want, we can then reality chip onto the Myria Skull Scholar if we want to. I don't know how much I love this over casting Courier's Briefcase. Our opponent does have a Leyline Binding. Okay. So it looks like our opponent is on some type of domain deck. Now the problem here for us, we don't really have any enchantment removal, which is a little unfortunate, but we do have this. So let's tap. Let's tap. Tap that. Blue. You have to do some manual tapping with this deck. Otherwise, things can go a little... Absurd. Oh, and we get to cast this wedding invitation. Alright, that worked. We don't need to do anything else. We'll take some damage here. Our opponent really wants a more removal for the the reality chip. Though I am a little scared. So let's do this. I want to exile the reality chip from One. Tap two untapped non-token artifacts. Is it not letting me tap the reality chip? Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Tap two untapped non-token artifacts. One, two. All right. I'm oh, sorry. I was, like, just not knowing what's going on. But we can... Oh, wow. I would love to not have to... Use that. And I guess we can just tap. Hmm. There's a lot going on here, and I'm sorry I'm not doing anywhere near as well or as effective as I probably should, but I think we want to wait till next turn to do more stuff, so we can just wait and go off again. Or not necessarily go off, just we're trying to assemble just a lot of card advantage, right? We don't have a Dragon Spark Reactor yet. And maybe I shouldn't have done the Tamiyo. I I don't know if I could have done the non um Frexian mana card, but we'll see. This should be fine though. We get to play a ton of cards here. 
If our opponent counters it, we do get it back with Tamiyo. Okay. And that's fine. Exile 2. Now let's see, I don't... I can't imagine we can get 20 artifacts here, but we can get... We can do a lot of damage. And our opponent thought so too. So GG. Okay. I think this might be good. We'll do a turn 2 reality chip. Now maybe we should have Jackal Lantern there. Hmm. Oh no, no, no. I like Dragon Spark Reactor here. So we can get stuff going. Then we can Myria into Jackal Lantern with the help of Dragon Spark Reactor. I feel like our opponent's going to have a counter spell here and I don't like that. Or not, maybe. All right, double consider. And now there's a lot our opponent can do. Vadric Astral Archmage. Uh oh. I have a feeling this could be very bad. <laughs> Wait. All right. Do we want to kill the Vadric now? I think so. And then we, we get to attack for three. There we go. We're aggro combo. Alright, opponent is a blue-red spells deck, but that's fine. All right, we will one, two, three. Oh, we need blue. Ouch. Oh, we still don't have blue mana to play the Mechana. Oh, no. Got him. Oh, didn't mean to attack with my token. That's fine, though. These spell decks can be a little scary because they can just kind of win off of nothing. Oh, we got our bootlegger? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the bootlegger stash, it works really well with the Dragon Spark Reactor because our lands can just do a lot. <laughs> Let's tap. One, two. Now, sadly, the Myria Scholar doesn't work particularly well with the bootleggers, but it's fine. And neither does Patchwork Automaton, right? Because that's only cast. But I'm fine with waiting another turn. We're good. We don't need to do anything. We'll flip the Howler. I 
I was like, and I can't imagine we're dead. I have not seen Arcane Infusion in a really long time. All right, big score. Now, our walking bulwarks with our patchwork automaton and the mechanaut and the scholar, we have a lot of damage next turn. Like, a lot. We keep that one. Now we have to exile. Oh, did I not make treasure tokens at the end of our opponent's turn? Uh-oh. Yeah, so now this is where... Well, I guess technically we should exile the top. We also can Wedding Inventation, the Patchwork Automaton, to make it not be blocked. And that's another way you could do a lot of damage out of nowhere and win. Uh, I'm trying to think. Six, six. Oh, no, we have the win here. My bad. Sorry, everyone. that but we won in a lot of ways right yeah gg keep i don't think this is a is this a good hand maybe maybe not we have a lot of draws with the experimental synthesizer right to get more land drops and if we ever get the myria we'll have a lot of mana Allegedly. As long as our opponent doesn't cast Thalia here. Okay. Whew. That would have been brutal. We're doing this because if we get a land, I want to be able to cast it. Oh, we cannot do that. That one, though. Shame. Wedding announcement. Okay, I think wedding announcement decks we're actually good against because in, they're not quick enough for us, I believe, like normally. So we'll be able to develop our, our board. I would hope. But again, if we don't get a reality chip or an Emeria, or Maria, Antiquity, whatever, we're probably not in a good spot. So, maybe that was a little, how do you say, preemptive? Premature? But we'll be fine. Right? We have eight cards that we really, really want.
Well, our opponent is going to be drawing with the wedding announcement and not getting more 1-1s. One so that means they're going to be a lot less aggressive, which is really, really good for us, actually. Oh, wow. Look. Got it. Four, five, six, nice. Now, what do we do here? We have to hope the Myria can do a lot. Or hope our opponent doesn't have a farewell coming up. That would be brutal, right? Alright, let's... Exile some stuff. And see what's going on. A patchwork automaton. I don't know. Let's... Adding mana manually is a little bit of a rough part about this deck, but I think it, it's worth it. Maybe we just want to exile stuff right there. I'm not overconfident. Off the top of our library? I don't know. It's also until the, uh, you only can only play it this turn. We just don't want our opponent to farewell. Land, farewell, we cry. I'm not doing any blocks. If your opponent has farewell, we lose anyway. Oh no! Did our opponent good game us? It's not a good game yet. I mean, it might be. We needed to draw a reality chip that turn and then, like, go off the following turn. And now we're on a two-turn clock, so... Oh, Alright, it's not a two-turn clock. You know, Meat Hook Massacre is banned, everyone. But, Farewell isn't. And I don't think we're going to win now.
Like I said, our opponent's deck, the wedding announcement decks, we probably are good against. But we're not good against Farewell. So... Ouch. Good game. All right, we'll keep this hand. Oh, we got the Myria. Nice. So it looks like, oh, and double Myria. That that's that's very very good. One two three. Faith bound judge. I still have no idea what that card does, and I'm never going to find out. And I hope everyone is okay with that. We're doing this so we can just cycle. And next turn we can start activating them for Miria if Miria lives. Oh, our opponent is a defender deck, which definitely means... We're going to have tons of time, right? Bulwark. Two... Right, and we don't care about that because the lands go away. And I think maybe that's what I should have been doing with the Myria. As I play this deck more, I think we just need to be more aggressive with the Exile. Lunar Flare, okay. Oh, we have a Tamiyo. We'll tap the flare, right? Or the judge. And we'll wait, because we want to be able to block. Wing Mantle Chaplain. Wait, we're at seven? Oh. Oh. That's not a lot, everyone. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me we were at seven? All right, let's do this. Okay. We'll do that. That. All right, now we'll tap that for that. I guess we can go to six. Let's free, we draw. Exile, Patrick Automaton. Oh, I guess we don't do anything there. All right. Concealing curtains, okay. Get a 1-1. One, one. Nice. I have a land in my hand. Our opponent didn't attack with everything, so that was a gift. Alright, 
So, what we can do, right... All right, the reality chip is exactly what we needed, I think, right? Let's attach here. One, one. Alright, so sadly, oh my god, we're, uh, is this, are we dead now here? I think we just might be dead. But who knows, who knows. We get to do a lot of work with the patchwork automaton. I don't think we can get to 60, but maybe we can, or 30 life, because we can make it, can't, so it can't be blocked. Right? So... Then we can... Do you know, I'm just going to do this now so I don't accidentally mess it up later. Let's exile that. To draw a card. Let's exile that. To draw a card. Well, none of these are great for us. We needed... More. This is... Oh my god, that is exactly what we needed. We needed that much earlier. But maybe we can do it. So that is 13. Let's see, we do... Yes, auto pay. We keep that one. This still can't be blocked. That's 15. Uh, these don't need to be untapped to do anything. Uh, uh let's tap that. Uh oh. Drawing a card, we're... I don't think we have enough. Sadly. Oh no, everyone. 14. 
Good game. Dang. We were so close. Ah. Oh, GG. Well, everyone, thank you for watching me play some Maria Scholar of Antiquity combo in Standard. The deck, it wasn't particularly great. You know, even against decks that really didn't interact with us, it didn't really come together quickly. But I do think there is maybe a skeleton here, and there it is potentially worth reiterating, and there could be something here. I'm not sure what, but... I don't necessarily think we need to give up yet. That last game was very, very close, and maybe we should probably go up to four Dragon Spark Reactors. We also took tons of damage from our Pain Lands, and maybe we can, like, change the mana base a little bit. And there are a couple things maybe here and there, but, like, it, it's something I might revisit and reiterate on in the future. So if you have any ideas, let me know. With all that being said, if you liked what you saw, you totally like, comment, or subscribe. That's a great way to help support me and this channel. You can also watch me stream and play live at twitch.tv slash thenerdysteve. And I also do some coaching. All those links are down below. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.